As a full-time digital marketer, there are so many Google Chrome extensions that I use on a daily basis. Here's some of my favorites and exactly how to use them. The very first Chrome extension that I'm going to show you is called Keyword Surfer. I've been using this tool for several months now and it's honestly been a complete time saver and game changer. You're going to use this tool for um, researching uh, the search volume of individual keywords. So whether you're trying to write a blog article where you want to know how many people per month are searching for that, or you want to do this for a YouTube video and, and find what search terms people are actually typing into YouTube, you can use this on that. And don't worry, I'm going to have direct links to all of these Chrome extensions in the description of this video for you. Type in uh, a, a target keyword. This could be anything that you want, but for the sake of this, uh, video we're going to type in best chrome extensions and what is so amazing about this tool is that it it activates this right in uh, uh, the google search here so it shows me the monthly search volume 4400 people per month are typing best chrome extensions now the other thing that i love here is it shows me related keywords and their volume as well so extensions for Chrome, Chrome extensions, you know, Google Chrome extensions, developers toolbar Chrome, um, Google apps for educators. It shows me all of these related uh, keywords that I can potentially create content around. The second Chrome extension that I like to use is Ubersuggest. I do a lot of SEO stuff, so honestly, I like to combine a lot of these keyword research tools and uh, just compare and contrast different data uh, Uber Suggest does a lot of additional stuff uh, than, uh, than Keyword Surfer um, and uh, I love the uh, Uber Suggest website as well uh, for doing competitor research but uh, just riding off the same, the same search here, best Chrome extensions, uh, Uber Suggest pops up first here and one of the things that I really like about this is uh, it shows you all the, the keyword suggested search volume here. Uh, but it also shows you uh, questions and prepositions. It takes you over to the Ubersuggest website here. It's a fantastic tool that shows you all of this uh, information about related keywords, search volume, uh, cost per click if you wanted to do advertising. And I really like this as well, the SEO difficulty. This shows you uh, how easy or how difficult it is to rank for that actual term. Uh, and then this is really amazing. So it shows you some of the top uh, individual pages that this keyword um, that uh, is ranking on for that keyword. So you can look at some of these individual pages and get some inspiration on what types of articles are actually ranking really high for that target keyword. And you can get some uh, really great insight that way and create content. Uh, you could even uh, use this strategy uh, for YouTube specifically. So you can do your keyword research, you can find uh, articles that rank really high. You could then take some of that information, turn it into a video for yourself, and potentially rank on, on YouTube uh, really high that way as well. The next Chrome extension that I use pretty often is called Loom. Uh, this is a video recording platform that records video right in your desktop feed. This is great for presentations. Doing videos exactly like this. You can uh, record on the screen and uh, and you can upload that video and send it to people and whatnot. It's, it's really fantastic. So let's let's uh, run back here. So we have, uh, you click on the plugin extension here, uh, pops up Loom, and then uh, the free version allows you to record up to five minutes here. And uh, I'm gonna do my entire screen. I'm gonna share. It gives you this little countdown clock, which is really cool and then it's gonna start recording. Uh, the only reason that I don't see myself in this little window here is because I'm using a different program to record the screen right now, uh, but otherwise it would, uh, it would be in that, and you can even control the, uh, the size of the window um, as well, free to position it all over the place. Really, it's a cool tool. Colorzilla is one of my all-time favorite Chrome extensions. This tool quite simply just allows you to get the exact color uh, code for anything across the internet. So if you want to go to, you know, a competitor's uh, or, you know, a website or something like that or your own website and you want to find the exact shade um, of red or something that you did, you just click this little eyedropper tool up here and, uh, and you run around here and you can highlight on the shade of red 
and it's going to immediately copy that uh, that code to your clipboard, and, uh, and you can paste this. You know, you can take that into Photoshop or if you're using Canva uh, or anything like that. Uh, it's really simple and a very easy way to get uh, all of the color codes and keep everything consistent. For all my YouTube people out there, Two Beast is a brand new Chrome extension. Really cool tool. It's definitely a competitor to other tools like vidIQ and TubeBuddy, uh, but it offers a lot of more detailed insight that uh, vidIQ and TubeBuddy just simply don't give you. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at an example of how this works exactly. When you have TubeBeast installed, it gives you all of this detailed information over here. This is absolutely wild. Uh, this is just in the search, of all, uh, the search area, and I'm gonna show you on the individual video area as well. But uh, let's say we wanted to do some research on best Chrome extensions, the target keyword for this video. Um, it's gonna show me related keywords here, uh, the, app, uh, the search volume on YouTube on those particular uh, keywords, how easy it is to uh, rank for those as well. It's going to give me related questions. It's going to show me the most used tags on here. Of course, I can copy all of these as well. Uh, the most used words throughout these videos, uh, meta tags that were, are repeated, and you know the average video uh, views, average video likes, average video dislikes, the average length of a video, uh, average English rate, which I think is interesting. But then it also gives me even more uh, individual video data here. So it shows me, of course, the uh, actual video tags that this video uses, uh, the most used words in this uh, in this video, um, and uh, repeated words. And I think there was, yeah, uh, it's, there's a controversial word section too. So if if this creator used any sort of controversial words in this video, uh, they would show up here. Um, and then we can even go down to current versus suggested videos, which is pretty interesting. So it's gonna show me all of these suggested video uh, videos down here. Um, it's gonna show me all of the individual tags uh, for each one. And this is a great research tool for tags. And you can just copy them right here and get, get a lot of examples and show. Uh, how everything shows up. I obviously listen to a lot of synthwave music. That's why you see all of that mixed in. What font? <laughs> this is a, another Chrome extension tool that's pretty amazing uh, that shows you what fonts individual websites are using. Uh, so uh, it activates up here, F question mark. Let's go back to, uh, to one of these websites here that I had pulled up. I click on what font. I can then highlight, oh, I turned it off. I can then highlight right over the text and it's gonna tell me what font. So Georgia, uh, this is PT Sands, Georgia, Georgia, PT Sands, Georgia, PT Sands, Georgia, etc. So this is a, a great way if you like a, a competitor website's font or just any sort of website, uh, you wanna see what type of font that they use. It's a great tool. Screen Shader, honestly, this Chrome extension saves my eyeballs so much. Uh, it quite simply, it just reduces the uh, um, the blue light coming from the screen. I sit in front of a computer screen every single day. Uh, this helps uh, reduce that. It kind of puts an orange overlay. You're in total control uh, over it here. Uh, this is what it looks like. I can turn it you know, up and down and, and whatnot. I can uh, set schedules. Um, I can, uh, they have uh, recommended different ones. Um, I can do different uh, shades on here. Uh, quite honestly, it's it's pretty detailed for what it does. It, it, it really is a screen shader, but it gives you so many custom solutions. Um, and it really helps no matter what your eyesight level is at. Uh, it helps uh, quite a bit reduce that overall eye strain. If you found these Google Chrome extensions helpful and you wanna check them out, all the links are in the description below. If you want to subscribe for more digital marketing tips to grow your business online, you can hit that button as well. And I'll see you in the next video.